All right, everybody. Well, I'm sure that you are more than happy to hear that that drum solo has ended and you don't have to sit through another, uh, you know, excessively six plus minute long drum solo from this channel. But just as the uh, title indicates, we are doing some restoration, some modding, uh, some changes to the shell for this metalwork snare drum from Tama. And right now we're just kind of taking apart the shell. You know, there went the snare plate or the snare throw, the butt plate, all the lugs rubber gaskets, screws, everything that's, you know, part of the shell. And we're just getting rid of all that stuff, covering up the badge, because we're going to be doing some work to the shell, obviously, both in finish and in hammering. But right now, we're just prepping everything for this uh, little fun sponge bath everything's going to be getting. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now with this, uh, just, you know, Q-tips and a uh, normal dish sponge. We're just giving a soapy water treatment for a little bit. Going to let everything dry and then put some anti-rusting agent on it just so that any sort of uh, hydration that's, you know, not to be all sciencey, but that's gone into the material at a molecular level doesn't start a corrosion or any sort of rusting. As we're not looking to oxidize or further make the drum look any more vintage or beat up, but more or less just kind of finish things up and go from there. So in just a second, we'll take a look at what the shell process looks like. So now what we're doing here is we're taking that same shell and we're just taking off all the nuances, let's say, of the that matte black kind of brush nickel finish that you find on a lot of these metalwork drums from the mid to late 2000s, which is definitely when this is from, probably about 2006, 2008 era. And so we're just using um, some sort of steel wire that, you know, is a finisher remover, so to speak, and we're just taking away all that matte black finish to prep it to get hammered. And that's also why we covered the logo in the last part. So we'll hop over to the hand hammering in just a second here. So now here we have a cinder block with a piece of wood under it that's situated there, very rigged. And then on that piece of wood, there are some curved other portions of wood that were going to be used for another project uh, that we might revisit. And we just placed the snare drum on there and we were able to take a normal hammer, not even a ball peen hammer, which is usually what you see with a lot of sort of other hand hammering jobs and we just kind of went at it for a good 30 minutes to an hour hand hammering all over the place to change the pitch so let's check it out <laughs> 